Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up, as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. And in terms of dates, we'll be going from the 23rd of March up until the 29th. We could actually record that section and I could just hold up a tape recorder and play it. It's amazing that you actually have that so dialed. It's impressive. <laughs> Maybe I should do that, just you keep should. that recorded and never have to say it again, yeah. Is that recorded? <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> yeah, so let's have a look at some of the most interesting games that have come out, as well as the new ones. What are they? Well, let's find out. Let's start with a game from the sponsor of today's video being Crypt Stalker. This is an 8-bit retro styled arcade game, very similar to, uh, to Castlevania or other platformers of that ilk from that era, and sees you taking on the role of Gladys, one of the descendants of the world's defenders, who need to stop demons before they unleash hell on the planet. Yeah, we've played a lot of this one, really good game. Gladys is a badass with a whip, <laughs> and she also has a pistol as a sidearm, and each stage has its own boss fight, but there's a ton of content here for the price, as we're about to tell you in a minute. You've got the main game, you've also got bonus stages, I think the lost level, something like that, and then you've got a B-side to the game, which is like a Game Boy version, D-Make. Yeah, exactly that. So, as Mark says, you have the original game, there's a casual mode if you want to try that too, which has more checkpoints. Then they have like the lost sequel, I love it when games do that. And then, as you mentioned, they have that, that handheld uh, port, if you like, of a, a NES game. It's really, really quite clever how they've done that, and it does play quite differently. It really does. At the moment, on sale, it is just £1.79 or your regional equivalent that you can see at the bottom of the screen. And that goes well into April. A big thanks to the publisher for sponsoring this episode. I'll tell you what we need in our lives, Glenn. We need another Survivors clone. Yep, that would be good. And if it were to be themed around the Grim Reaper, oh, all the better. Even better. Reaper Survivors is out on the 25th, and it does just that. As you would expect, as you go through the game's levels, you'll encounter increasingly more challenging obstacles and enemies. And it says here the key to survival lies in strategic upgrades and enhancements to your character, as you say, very much like Vampire Survivors. One thing I will say is it comes from Dementia Games, who are notorious for releasing, well, Roman Empire Simulator, Village Tycoon, and Bulldoze Tycoon, basically. I haven't got high hopes for this one, so maybe this is more of a warning. I'm disappointed they haven't made Roman Empire survivors, you know, to be <laughs> honest with you. That would make more sense, Julius wouldn't it? Caesar survivors. Russell Crowe. Make it. Get it done. It's out on the 25th if you're interested. £4.49 or your regional equivalent. Next then we have South Park Snow Day. This is an interesting one because I've got to be honest, I thought it would be another in their RPG series, but it looks like it goes in a different direction with a 3D co-op mode, and it looks to be an action-adventure game. You can, it says here that you can play with up to three friends using matchmaking or solo the game with bots as your allies. Yep, it says for the first time in one of these games, it has a co-op element with up to three friends or ally bots, as you said, and you can equip and upgrade devastating melee and ranged weapons in order to get through each of the stages. Now I've got to say, I'm a bit disappointed the Switch version doesn't have any local co-op. So although it's designed for that, you have to either link Switches together or you have to play online. Oh, so there's no couch co-op? Doesn't look like it. Ah, that is a bit of a shame, isn't it? I did play a couple of these, you know, these, these new South Park games. Uh, the Fractured Butthole was the last one I played. <laughs> Great name. And I did enjoy it, actually, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with this this new one. I mean, I haven't watched a South Park episode in about 20 years, I must, yeah. I must say. So I'm completely out of touch with it. But it's out on the 26th, and it will cost you £24.99. Three friends. Grab your gang and head into the fray in South Park Snow Day. Launching on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. It's Snow Day, dude! Then we have a bit of a change of pace. We've got Farming Simulator Kids. Now, the reason I included this, I'll be honest, is generally, as soon as you see the word kids included in a title, you're looking at a very low effort type of game, you know, but this actually looks really nice. It says you'll explore farm locations, growing and harvesting crops, or caring for the animals, but it does look like a decent amount of effort has been put into this, and it looks like it has some sort of licensing deal with John Deere, obviously quite a well-known farming equipment manufacturer. Yeah, it's from the same people that bought us the official Farm Simulator 23. I think we did a video on that one, actually. Um, it's from the same company, uh, publisher, I should say, that did the actual mainline farming games yes, on Switch. Yeah. I will say, though, it's a little bit expensive, isn't it? £26.99. I think people, a lot of people will look at that and go, yeah, that's a bit much. Hmm, quite possibly, quite possibly. I mean, interesting to see how it plays and if it uh, plays as well as it looks because it does look lovely it's out on the 26th as you said for £26.99 
Then we have Shockman Collection Volume 1. I'm fairly sure that the Shockman games have been out before, you know, many years ago now. I can't remember the consoles or how this changes them, but I do know we've had a couple of them release from Rattalika games already on the Switch. And from what I hear, you know, they're, they're pretty decent games. They, they hold up relatively well. This one has 18 platforming stages for you to get through. There are multiple routes for you to try and explore and different upgrades to unlock, as well as rewind and fast forward features. So they've added some of those uh, quality of life features that people like in games these days. It's another one out on the 26th and it'll cost £10.99 or your regional equivalent. Next up we've got Ocho, spelled O-T-X-O, and this one comes from Super Rare Games. So it was really quite interesting in terms of its aesthetic. It has a black and white style. It's from a top-down perspective, but it also has segments where it goes into like an adventure view of items like letters and different objects in the world. Now on the face of it, it does look very similar to something like Hotline Miami. Yeah, absolutely right. So you'll be blasting down doors, uh, taking out rooms full of enemies as you make your way through this mansion. It does have a horror twist to it to some degree, it seems, and it does boast to have over 100 abilities and you have that focus uh, bullet time that you can use as well to slow things down and take out the enemies in each room. Yeah, I'm sure we'll cover this in some way, whether it be an interesting games or something else, just to give you the heads up on how it plays. That one releases on March the 28th for £11.99. We have Terra Memoria coming this week too which calls itself a cosy adventure game set in the fantastic world of Terra. The blurb isn't particularly long, it says a shortage of magic crystals and a sudden awakening of ancient robots leads six new friends on an incredible investigation across Terra, a cosy and fantastic world that combines 3D and pixel art. That's basically all it says, but it does look very nice, it must be said, judging by the screenshots, and it does seem as if there is some sort of battle in there to be had too. It's going to release on the 27th and it will cost £17.99 or your regional equivalent. Following on from that then we have The World After. This one's like an FMV game isn't it? Like the old school ones we used to enjoy so much. And actually there was another company wasn't there? Was it uh, Wales Interactive or something? Yeah, used to they do did a lot of these? quite a few of these, yeah, they did, you're right. Yeah, as you said it's like a point and click game I guess, but with that FMV angle. And it promises three different endings and 32 different environments to explore. It's set during a pandemic lockdown in France and tells the story of Vincent, a writer that fled the city in order to work on a new book. I wonder where they got their inspiration for that idea. <laughs> Life imitating art, perhaps, mm. I'm not sure. He goes on to say that as he investigates an old castle, he finds a way to switch between night and day and starts to be chased by a monster named the Night Watcher. This one is out on the 27th for £8.99, although you can get 10% off of that price up until launch day. Lovely stuff. The one that I've got my eye on for this coming week is Outward Definitive Edition. Believe it or not, they're actually bringing that across to the Nintendo Switch, which is very cool. It's uh, an immersive RPG that has been out on other platforms, but it incorporates survival elements. Now, this one did really well when it launched on PC, I think surprisingly so. And as the sequel is just on the horizon, I should imagine they're, you know, trying to get the Definitive Edition out onto as many platforms as possible. And this does include both of the DLCs for that game as well. If you've played any old school, RPGs, things like uh, Morrowind actually, this more reminds me of than some of the more modern ones, uh, then combine that with some of the survival elements you have in so many survival games, you name one, and then yeah, a huge open world. They're really good games and I do wonder how it's going to perform on Switch, so that's one to keep your eye out for. We will definitely be covering this one. It launches at £31.99 on the eShop. That one releases on March the 28th. And dangerous creatures, but there's beauty here too. At least when viewed from a safe distance. The three brothers. Active volcanoes near the city of Sirocco. 
We also have Pepper Grinder releasing this week from Devolver Digital, which calls itself an action-packed pirate adventure starring the titular Pepper. Yeah, this caught my eye the second it was it was in like a direct, an indie direct, something like that. Yeah. And it looks amazing. The way she, it's like it's got that really satisfying, I don't even know how to describe it, but the way she like crunches through the undergrowth, uh, through the underground and then like pops out, like it looks lovely. And there's demo as well, isn't there? There is a demo, yeah. So you basically have a drill. Mm. That's kind of the hook of the game, isn't it? And you can drill through the ground, and I'm guessing that will make up some of the platforming or, or puzzle, you know, slight puzzle solving as you make your way through each world. I do always find it quite intriguing when I see a platform game that introduces some sort of mechanic yeah. like that. You know, it can either enhance the gameplay or it can really bog things down. Mm -hmm. Devolver, you know, they know what they're doing. They yep. do publish some good stuff, some very good stuff. So hopefully it's the former. Yeah, I, I was chuckling there because I, I had a picture of us, uh, like an interview, Right, you're the interviewer. Yeah, and and you're interviewing for the job of a driller. Right, and and you and you're like, why are you here, Mark? And I'm like, well, well, I want a job where I'm crunching through the undergrowth. And then you just go, what drilling? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know what I was talking about before. No, I was saying loads of words, and then you were like, Excuse, can I stop you there? <laughs> Do you mean drilling? I think you just wanted to use a new verb, did. didn't you? Yes, to to I crunch. Did. Yes, rather than to drill that's fine Thank that's you. fine Thank you, Glenn. come one come all why not <laughs> uh, out on the 28th and it will cost £13.49 then we have Missile Dancer 2 I must have missed Missile Dancer 1, I must say. But Missile Dancer 1 is actually out on the Switch. Oh, well, there we go. You did, you did. <laughs> I definitely missed it then. <laughs> this is uh, a, a sprite scaling shoot 'em up, you know, where you play from behind your craft. Uh, like many, of, you know, there were a good few of these back in the day. I seem to remember a very popular Sega one, which name escapes me now, is it Afterburner, perhaps? But yeah, this one has an arcade and caravan mode, which is quite standard for, for games such as these. And it definitely has a, an interesting aesthetic, I must say. Yeah, three different difficulty modes. As you say, arcade caravan. Does it set itself apart? Well, that remains to be seen. It launches with a 10% discount, taking it down to 11.96, And that's on the 28th of March. Loads of these coming out on the 28th. Last but not least then, or it might be least, we're about, we're about to find out, yeah. it's Felix the Cat. Do you remember Felix? I do remember Felix the Cat, and uh, when I first saw this on the eShop, I had this, this moment where I got very excited because I thought they were going to make a new game starring Felix the Cat that was going to be very much like the uh, you know the Mickey Mouse games they've made in previous years, or Cuphead, where it's going to have that beautiful 1920s style animation. It's unfortunate, well not unfortunately, but uh, for my expectations at least, it's uh, a release of uh, an NES game and a Game Boy game from back in the day. Yeah, no, they went through the cupboard and they went, what can we put out? There you go, of that. Shame. I mean, not. Sh well, it is a shame because that's for me, seventeen ninety nine even with a discount is a bit much. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I, I, I think I've played the Game Boy one actually back in the day, I seem to remember. Um, and I'm sure they'll be enjoyable. I just had that moment where I artificially yeah. <laughs> increased my expectations and then they, yeah, they plummeted well back excited. down. Yeah, I was. But yeah, £19.99 this one if you're interested, albeit with that discount that Mark mentioned. And it's another one out on the 28th. So there we go, yeah, that's another week of uh, new releases and some that had come out. What were your favourites? Let us know in the comments. Absolutely. Uh, don't forget, if you are looking for eShop credit to pick any of these up, you can get your eShop cards via our website, switchup.gg. You get yourself 5% of your purchase price back in cash back. Helps you out and does help us out as well, so much appreciated if you use it. And there's also links down there to physical games via PlayAsia and Red Art Games. And again, you get yourself a nice discount there, 5% for PlayAsia, 10% for Red Art. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.